My name is Christina, and tonight's story is called Ripe Banana, The Pineapples Attack! Now, I am not sure if you know much about the pineapples from Trinidad, but you can read about them in the Ripe Banana book series, and it's in book three. So let me tell you about them, and then we can get on with the story. The pineapples are a big tribe of fruit that kept themselves to themselves in the southern part of the island of Trinidad. They spend a lot of their time line dancing on the beach. After finding a CD player one day at the edge of the jungle, one of them, I am not sure of his or her name, turned it on and all this country line dancing music started blaring out. Anyway, there you have it, the pineapples of Trinidad. So now we can start our story. Ripe Banana and his captured dragon were flying over the island of Trinidad, looking for food. The dragon loved fruit, and especially bananas, and he loved banana milkshakes. So as not to keep eating the banana cavemen, the dragon flew him far away, looking for other food to eat. Well, one day, they spotted a line of pineapples on the beach and dived in for a couple of mouthfuls. Om nom 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 nom. The pineapples that were left were so in shock at what had happened and had to be taken back to camp to lie down. In fact, some of them were shaking so much that they even created pineapple juice. Anyway, the leader of the pineapple tribe was Old King No Longer Juicy, and he was very angry when he heard about the banana caveman and the flying dragon, and he wanted payback. He sounded the rasp alarm, which is actually pineapples rubbing each other down to signal the attack. But then he stopped it. Everyone looked at one another, wanting to know what was going on. Only that the king did not know which banana caveman tribe it was. He sent young pineapples out to scout in training to find out and report back. Sadly, some of them never made it back as crocodiles, a dragon, and just about anyone hungry ate them. Wait, one got away and made it back. He started line dancing before being eaten, and the crocodile actually liked it. She forgot to eat him, and he made a run for it. Anyway, he told Old King No Longer Juicy where the camp was, and the rubbing started again. Some grabbed their spears, others sharpened their spiky bodies, and ran off in chase of the banana tribe of Trinidad. The pineapples went from town to town on their way to attack the banana tribe. Now, if only they had a boat or a plane, because as they went, they got attacked too. Some got sliced, some got diced, and others got squeezed for information. Their numbers went down and down as they went to war. In fact, they never actually made it that far. Going through the jungles of Trinidad was far too dangerous. And when they started out, 199 pineapples went to fight. But after all that dangerous journey getting there, there were only 23 left. Do you know how many never made it? Have a go. 199 started and 23 were left at the end. Let's take a look, shall we? 199 minus 23 equals... I can see some of you got it right, but some of you didn't quite get it right. Well, the answer is 176. Well done, everyone, for trying. 23 pineapples reached the banana cavemen and were easily defeated by the bananas. That night, no banana cavemen were eaten by the dragon. <laughs> Good night. Close your eyes from the Caribbean bunch at bedtime.